Good evening. We just learned only moments ago that there has been a mysterious break-in at the British Museum. Mysterious because nothing of real value was taken, neither painting nor sculpture, only a medallion made out of gold was taken from the museum's permanent collection. According to a curator, the medallion's actual origins are unknown. However, scholars have discovered 9th century text, which describe it in considerable detail. Originally made two pieces, it belonged to a... Hello? Philip! It's Maggie. Margaret! How very nice. Have you heard the news? Yes, yes, uh, no. I've been chosen High Priestess of England. Oh, congratulations. Do come and attend the summer solstice with us at Stonehenge. What a pity. I'm afraid I'm very busy just now. What? You mean you cannot come? <laughs> Dr. Grossgradenstein. <laughs> Good day, my friend. I'm counting on you to come and join us. I have made a fabulous discovery, better even than the pyramids. Oh, really? What is it, then? Promise me you will come? Of course I will. Meet me at the Salisbury Station tomorrow. Splendid. Auf Wiedersehen, Mortimer. Auf Wiedersehen, Doctor. The thief is still at large. The authorities have alerted the intelligence service. And that ends That's our more like it. Important call. My cousin and a band of druids have invited me to dance around Stonehenge with them tomorrow. Would you care to join us? I'd love to, but duty calls. Still your mysterious terrorist. We nearly catch him, then he laughs at us. Now he's threatening to blow up the main telescope. The one being opened tomorrow? Exactly. Gosh. Dear friends, colleagues, and ladies and gentlemen, today I have the great honor and also the great pleasure to inaugurate this fine new telescope. Let us all hope it will enable generations of astronomers to help show us the way to a The place is completely covered. That wretched terrorist would have to be crazy to try and get in. You seem very sure of yourself, my dear Kendall. Open. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, my friends. Thank you. Good heavens. Get down. Huh? Ah! Oh. Seal off the area. your hands up right now. Attack! Mister, that's the last direct one for Salisbury. Salisbury? But that's where Mortimer's going. Uh, room for one more in here? Why, certainly. Hello. Get me the Salisbury Police Station right away.
Would you be going to see Stonehenge? Hmm? Oh, yes. I'm attending a mystical seance. A great assembly of the druids. Everyone wonders how they put up those stones. But no one has solved the mystery so far. Well, I don't suppose we'll solve it now. So looking forward to seeing him. It's been a long time since the pyramids. Oh, he hasn't changed. He's just the same. It's a strange sort of welcoming committee. Uh, how are you getting to the site? My cousin was meeting me with a car. Do you think there might be room for me? My goodness, yes, there's room for you if you don't mind Margaret's driving. My friend! <laughs> I am so happy you are here. The pleasure is entirely mine. Hello, Margaret. Let me introduce someone else who's interested in old stones. Mr... Ellis. Brett Ellis. How do you do? Can we give him a lift? to Stonehenge. No problem. We can't find a single suspect, Captain. But even so, he was on the train. There's an awful lot of tourists around at the moment. Maybe he hooked up with some group. They're all over at Stonehenge for the Druids Festival. Stonehenge? Fascinating. You'll excuse me, I must prepare for the ceremony. I can assure you she looks enchanting in her white robes. I don't doubt it. Now, Doctor, your discovery. Yes, yes, yes. Follow me. You too, Herr Ellis. Just look at what we have found. How strange. It looks like... The Earth and the Solar System. Absolutely. But that's not all. Come and look. It's the plan of the Stonehenge site. Now, this gate here no longer exists, and here the sun is in a very special position. Very special. That precise position only occurs every... 56 and a half years, Doctor. Correct? Blake? Oh. We have no time to waste. What on earth are you doing here? <laughs> but, Herr Ellis... Just don't move, Doctor. Here we are again. Put your weapons down. He's the terrorist. The medallion? But of course. Don't come any closer, Mortimer, or the Doctor will have serious problems. In a few moments, I shall leave you. My mission is finally completed. My father will be proud of me. <laughs> Strange. 
Where are we? Blake! Blake, wake up! Oh, my head. This is incredible. What has happened? Where are they? Gross Grabenstein and that man, Ellis. Oh, I haven't the faintest idea. Flown away. Look! The digma we're examining has disappeared. I have the strangest feeling. Blake, you tell me if I'm dreaming. There must be a logical explanation for all this. Let's try to get to Marlborough. It's just a few miles. We'll get help there. Or they'll think we're crazy and lock us up. Ha! Ah, that sign reminds me of something. Exactly, my dear Mortimer. The medallion stolen from the British Museum. Good heavens. Ulrich! What's happening to us? Don't make a move. <gasps> Put up your hands, slowly. You're out after curfew. And what are these strange clothes? They're not from here. In that case, you know the Emperor's orders. Ah! Oh, oh. They're only asleep, you know. I followed you, and then I woke up in the Druid Sanctuary. Margaret! The police! Follow me, quick! Prostrate myself at your feet, O oh Emperor. Who dares to disturb me? What are you doing here? I have accomplished the mission you gave my father 56 and a half years ago. But then you must be... Brett Ellis, the son of Peter Ellis. I come from the other world. The medallion? I bring you back the power of the moon. Mm. That's it. The key to your vengeance, O oh my Emperor. Give it to me. You're worthy of your father, Brett Ellis. Soon the Earth which banished me will be nothing but a memory. <laughs> Quick, this way. Wait for me. What are you... What? There's nothing to worry about. We're in the sanctuary. The sanctuary? You know where we are. Is it wise for us to stay here? You have nothing to fear in the sanctuary. They never come here. By the tartan of Clan McGregor, our own graves. Explain all this before I go crazy. The truth is surprising. In this world, you are both dead. Your doubles were assassinated by the cowardly Ulrich. Our doubles? In this world? What does that mean, Margaret? Who have you allowed to enter our sanctuary, Margareta? Who are these men? The police are after them. They are friends from my world. They are not druids, they are imposters. In them I sense war and technology. They cannot stay here. You betray our trust. Wait! They're on our side. Margaret, I don't quite understand all this. But if your friends oppose Ulrich, we will help them. They trust me because I'm a druid priestess on Earth. But you and Philip... Francis, we are not welcome here, you know. This is all beyond me. If that's the case, we'll fight Ulrich on our own. Philip, let's go. No, please forgive them, Francis. They're afraid. You think you can reassure them? You see, this is another world, a world parallel to ours. A druidic world, a world in accord with nature, a peaceful world. Peaceful? But, Margaret, what about the police? They're armed. Ulrich's arrival upset everything. 
He introduced the notions of technology and weapons into this world. But how long has he been here? A very long time. You see, time itself is different here. Auric dispatched a man to your world, but it is that man's son who has returned. But why does Auric want the medallion? He already has the other half. And what will he do with the two halves? Once Auric sends that complete medallion through the portal... The apocalypse! Yes. The medallion will provoke a chain reaction and destroy the Earth. The apocalypse, as it's described in the text. We must get hold of that medallion, Francis. Ulrich lives shut away in his fortress. We haven't a chance. We have no time to waste. It would be best for you to stay here, Margaret. By the way, how did you put those police to sleep? I used a powder made out of wild plants. Ah, just for a moment, I thought... It was magic? Oh, really? Here is some of that magic powder, but use it wisely. Thank you, Margaret. Look after yourself. What a depressing version of home. Indeed. I can't wait to leave. It's terrible. Let's see what's going on over there. Look, Ulrich. He's wearing the completed medallion. A public announcement. Emperor Ulrich we'll deal with him later, Philip. First, let's rescue poor Dr. Gross-Grabenstein. A great fight this evening. Manathon against Gross-Grabenstein the spy. Don't be afraid now. Why your strength against Manathon himself? Anyone who beats him will be congratulated personally by the Emperor. Francis, are you sure this is a wise solution? Come on, Philip. Trust me, I've had a good idea. Huzzah, huzzah! We have a volunteer for the fight, or should I say, two volunteers! <laughs> <laughs> the festivities are shaping up well, Your Highness. We must hurry, Sharky. Tomorrow I am going to Stonehenge to achieve my vengeance. And in the meantime, <laughs> the people must see me as their benefactor. And so they shall. How do I look? The moon itself pales when compared to my emperor. Oh, yeah! Well done, volunteers, and our congratulations go to the big fella. One battle is over, and we prepare for the next. Our amazing marathon will now confront Dr. <laughs> Poor doctor. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, the battle you've been waiting for. Dr. Gross Gravenstein will confront our own formidable hero. Grabenstein, it's me, Philip. We've come to rescue you. You, Mortimer! What a match! Marathon laid out the doctor with just a mighty glance. But now we'll need another volunteer. Ah, the cowards. You go, Sharky. Me? Uh, that's no problem. At last, some action. And we have a volunteer! Okay, let's go, Marathon. Now what? The powder inside his helmet will begin to take effect in a minute or two. A minute or two is a long time. Once again, the Invincible Manathon 
triumphs over his adversary. You hear that? What's happening in there? Now that's entertainment. Your medallion, quick. Who dares to speak like this? So ashamed you keep your visor down? Let me alone. You're not Sharky. Blake, but you again. Now what is it? <laughs> Mortimer, get away. Mortimer. Go on, Doctor. You come with me. Not without Blake. Now you give this medallion to Margaret. Margareta? In the forest of Stonehenge. Now go. Good luck, Doctor. Now how'd they get here? Blake was chasing me. They must have followed me through the portal. You were careless. Because of you, Gross Grabenstein has escaped with the Moon Medallion. Margareta! Margareta! I should have stayed in Cairo. One could be killed with these crazy people. Margareta! Oh? Where did you get that medallion? I thought I saw a ghost. And where are Blake and Mortimer? They've been captured by the Emperor. Oh! Lady Margareta. Bad news. I just heard that all traitors will be sacrificed tomorrow evening. No, Ulrich. This time you won't banish me. I swear to it. We can't just sit here and rot. Calm yourself, Philip. I just hope Gross Grabenstein will be able to find Margaret. But she won't be able to get us out of here. Shh. to get in here. My special magic, Francis. But we're not out of the woods yet, and we must hurry. I tell you, it wasn't me that drank it all. Look, I wasn't dreaming. There was still a boat. <gasps> Wait a minute. A girl just went by. Oh, yeah? Well, I wasn't dreaming either. The one who drank it all was you. <gasps> Did you find her? Or must I come and look too? Harold? <clears throat> ah, well. We're not doing so badly after all. I don't think so, Mortimer. The medallion, if you please. The what? The medallion, and quickly. All right, Margaret, the medallion. Stop right there. Don't come any closer. Toss it to me. As you wish, then. Stuck here. Look <gasps> out! What on earth is that? I'd say it's a sort of airplane. I should never have listened to Margareta. Gross Grabenstein! Even 
find the brakes? Quick, it's our only chance. They're just in time, Doctor. Luckily for us. Ah, it is nothing. Just look at that. How pretty are the lights from the town? Oh, they've spotted us. Ah! Catch him. I have lost control of the plane now. We've had it. Hang on. Margareta! We must set off at once and find Mortimer. But... It's hopeless, Francis. Philip could never survive a fall like that. Hmm. By the tartan of Clan McGregor. Watch our fall. Nobody can survive a fall like that. Mm -hmm. you have let them escape. I want armed guards stationed everywhere. Luckily for you, you managed to retrieve what matters. Yes, your highness. I want to be rid of those troublemakers, and the sooner the better. They shall be wiped out. I shall see to it, your highness. The druids will soon be no more than a legend. Bunch of fools in long robes. They won't stop me. This very night, I'll have my vengeance, and the Earth will disappear! It is your fault the Moonstone fell into Ulrich's hands. We cannot help you, Margareta. Have you forgotten druids are non-violent? Do you deserve your title of High Priest? Because of you, the Emperor will order more reprisals. We want to live in peace. Live in peace? While Ulrich's preparing to wipe out the- I don't ask you to take up arms, but you must help us. Our world is at risk. I will do anything to avenge my friend Mortimer and bring down Ulrich. You'll do anything? Are you prepared to risk your soul? My soul? Well... Don't listen to him, Francis. You could go and look for the Moonstone's opposite number. The Sunstone. Only the Sunstone is stronger than the Moonstone medallion. Where is it, this Sunstone? In a mysterious place. The heart of the collective unconscious. A place no druid has ever ventured. The source of legends. We'll be with you in spirit. So you're not coming with me, then? I have confidence in you. You will fall into a deep coma and awaken in the source of legends, a place from which no one has ever returned. But you will succeed, Francis. I know it. Just a brief vacation, it seems. It is time for you to leave, Blake. I am ready. Belogma, to you do we entrust this soul. If you succeed in passing three mortal tests, you will recover the Sunstone.
It's not that strange here. Am I really in the source of legends? A leprechaun! You think it wise to return to the scene of the crime? Uh, well, as a matter of fact, I'm looking for... My pot of gold! You stole my pot full of gold coins, and now, now you must pay me! But you know, I, I really think there's been a mistake. Oh, really? Uh... <laughs> This is a great day for the Empire today. Very soon the Earth will be destroyed, and my vengeance will be complete. And then nothing will stop us, my Emperor. <laughs> Master of both worlds! <laughs> He's been gone for several hours now. Blake is on the right track, Margareta. He must face his destiny. We can do nothing for him. Then let us pray that he's still safe. I shall have my vengeance! I shall have my vengeance! That was a nightmare. Ah, an open space at last. I wonder what the second test will be. <gasps> if the gates of hell exist, they probably look something like this. I have no choice. I must cross this bridge. You take risks, little man. Uh, an odd little creature. But there's trespass on my land. You b better let me down, you know. Hey, no, 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 d d don't let me down. All right, make up your mind. Uh, b put me down. Uh, if you don't know what you want, you won't get very far. The source of legends is over that way, is it not? Straight on after the bridge. But first you must defeat me to cross it. All right, you pack a harder punch. But can you move as fast as me and run like grease lightning? <laughs> you don't get the point, dummy. You see, I win every battle. No, you don't. Not running against me. <sighs> Choose the course, impertinent midget. But don't forget, if you lose, you end up in pieces at the bottom of the precipice. The start will be at the edge of the woods. The finish line over there, the other side of the bridge. You think I'm stupid then, you little fool? Afraid of losing, are you, big boy? Nice to have met you. They're coming! Six cars full! Ulrich! Alice! They will try to open the portal. If ever the medallion goes through the portal, the world is destroyed. Shall we allow this then? They have made this a battleground. Let us unite against this tyrant. This has gone on too long. Yes, yes, let's bring down.
When can we open the portal? But whenever you desire it, my lord. Very well. Let us begin. Sharky? Sharky! Oh. My emperor. Where are our men? My guards! Where are my guards? You have no more guards, miserable wretch. You can't impress me with this bunch of shepherds. You are no longer in a position to do any harm, Ulrich. You must surrender. <laughs> That's what you think. <laughs> Over here! The plan worked. My victory is complete. Pacifist, huh? <laughs> This oak tree must be at least several hundred years old. We have been here since the dawn of time. <gasps> Who said that? Where are you? I am the soul of the oak tree. <sighs> That's incredible. What are you doing here, stranger, so far from your home? I. I am seeking the source of legends. The source of legends is in front of you. Apocalypse threatens my world. Your world? Yes, and to save it from the vengeful tyrant trying to destroy it, I must find the sunstone as soon as possible. I wonder if I can trust you. Anyway, I can only show you where to look for it. Climb to the top of the tree, and there you'll find what you seek. This hook may be of help to you in your search. Thank you. Be careful. Danger can strike at any moment. Goodbye. Margaret, if you don't come out immediately, your friends will be executed on the spot. Why all this hate, Ulrich? How dare you speak thus to the Emperor? Because he's an imposter, that's why. An imposter? Tie her in the center of the circle. Her sacrifice will be an example. What to do? Oh, what to do? And Blake is still not back. Ah, the sunstone. And by this sacrifice, our world will at last be rid of this band of renegades. Oh! Goodbye, High Priestess. <laughs> ah! Ulrich, you're a coward! Philip! Mortimer! I shall now enjoy an extraordinary moment, Mortimer. Your death, as well as that of the planet Earth.
Where is Blake? We don't know if he'll ever return, Philip. <laughs> Once again, you see proof of my power. The key to the other world is here. I shall destroy an entire world. Therefore, bow before your master. <laughs> Ulrich is not your master. Francis. Ulrich is not master of this world. He has no power at all over this world, so then, which do you choose? An emperor or liberty? Uh, seize him. Uh, Philip! It's a miracle that you're alive. Indeed it is. A real miracle after I drank about two gallons of the Thames River. But... where is the doctor? The druids will destroy both medallions. We must leave now. Margaret, you coming with us? This world is perfect. But I'd miss the London smog too much. I am ready <laughs> for more new adventures. <laughs> My dear Margaret, it's all very peculiar. You think so? Surely I must have been dreaming. Certainly it was the first time I ever visited the collective unconscious. You are much too Cartesian, my dear Francis. This affair enabled you to finally capture Ulrich. And where he is now, he'll never bother anyone again. Ulrich didn't achieve the eternal life he hoped for. He got a life in prison instead. And what happened to Gross Grabenstein? He went back to Egypt. He said that on his way through the portal, he took the medallion. He wanted to analyze it, maybe even use it one day, in 56 and a half years. Oh. Hello. By Jove, the intelligence service. Ulrich has escaped. 